Hey there everybody, welcome back to Camp Keyframe and in this video I'm going to talk about trim paths. So I created this little line here in After Effects just by using a pen tool and I'm creating a line like that, uh, but then straight. And what I want to do is I want to grow this line from here to here. So what I can do is scale and you use scale and no, oh, that's a big comp. Wait, let's zoom in here. I can use scale and then oh, only use this one and it, it scales to the anchor point like that. So then I have to I, I would have to, to move the anchor point to where it scales and blah 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 annoying. So what I just want to do is just not the best way to do do it like that. What I want to do is add a trim path. So open the line and then you have a little button here is add and you can add effects to your shape layer. Uh, in this case I want to add trim paths. So let's do that and it opens the trim paths here. Click it down and we have the start and an offset. So as you can see here there is a start and an end point. So if I the the start is at zero percent right there and end is at a hundred percent. So if I drag the end point to the left, it will uh, it will move that end point. So if I put it at fifty, click, then it will be exactly uh, in the ha uh, in the middle. So put it back to hundred and the same with with start. I can drag the starting point. Uh, to an, a higher percentage and it will start at that point. So if I just want to animate this line going from 0 to 100, I just go put the end at 0, hit a stopwatch, go to 1 second for example, and then put it at 100, and now the line grows out. Um, drag it out make it, to make it longer. Uh, I can also let, it, let this end at 90, and then here I can put another keyframe and then get it to 100. So you have a little pause and then it goes further if you would like that. So uh, I can also animate the end point, so the, the start point, sorry. So now the end point uh, grows out, but I want the, the beginning to follow it. I just wanted to align to quickly uh, whoosh by. So I can start the uh, end point at uh, the, the start point, sorry, at zero right here. And I want to go here and I want to put it at 100. Uh, so now you can't see anything because the, the line actually follows itself. So the end and the start point move at the same direction, uh, the same speed. So if I drag the start point out a bit, uh, th then only at this point, the start point starts growing in. So I can have this. All right. So you can just play with that and create a lot of different uh, line animations, however you would like. And let's just uh, delete these. So I only have this one and I can also animate the offset. And what the offset does, it moves your, end, your beginning or end point. So if I move it to the right, then my starting point is right here instead of right there. So I can also, uh, let's demonstrate that with a, a circle. Just uh, reset that. I have this circle right here. And I can do the same with this. I can open it up, add trim paths, and open it. And let's say, let's end it right here and drag it to zero. So now that grows to be a circle. But I want uh, I want this beginning point to also rotate. So like the like the circle is rotating while it's growing. So I can go to offset. Uh, hit a keyframe, go a bit further in the timeline, and just just get a random number. So the 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 circle isn't actually rotating; it's only the endpoint where the circle starts growing is moving with on on that line. Um, so if I do this, then the circle is it has a just a nicer look to it, uh, a bit more excitement than just a uh, growing line. It actually moves around while doing it. So that's uh, Trim Paths. This is a great tool. It's one of my favorite tools ever. Trim Paths is one of the most used things within After Effects for me. Uh, thank you. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.